On my honor, I will do my best to, to do, do my, my duty, duty to guide in my country and to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally strong. 100 years of scouting, millions of adventures, countless friendships, permanent and enduring life lessons. Boy Scouts of America has brought families and communities together for 100 years to prepare America's youth to live, work, and play with character and integrity. In every era and through numerous trends of the past century, scouting has been steadfast. We never stray from our core principles. Leadership, character, service, environmental stewardship, and achievement. We celebrate this legacy and reaffirm Scouting's commitment to inspire and prepare future generations. Being a leader is about much more than being a person in charge. Leaders see possibilities and inspire others to see them too. They instill confidence and create enthusiasm. I find that I can test almost any decision against uh, the oath I took as a scout and the scout law that I ascribe to. And somewhere in that scout oath and that scout law is the guidance needed to do what is the right thing to do. Our nation will never outgrow the need for thoughtful, responsible leadership. Which means the values and lessons of scouting will never go out of style. For a century, scouting has been helping America's youth find in themselves and in the world around them more than they thought possible. Our goal has been and remains that our young men and women will desire to always do the right thing, even if no one is watching. One thing yeah. scouting did for me was uh, uh, character formation. I mean, it was really uh, important, uh, I understood early on, to tell the truth, to be reliable, to be trustworthy, uh, to be one that others would look up to, and uh, to always uh, live by a standard that was just maybe a little higher. At home, at work, and at play, scouting's lessons last a lifetime. The people who have the most profound effect on society are the ones who get involved. Scouting has a proud history of promoting service to others. We teach that there is a virtue in giving unselfishly, and that in helping our families and our communities, our world becomes a better place. No task is too big or too small, and no person is insignificant. I think more hours have been given to do new and positive service projects that have left live change by scouts than probably any other service organization in the nation. A scout grows each time he or she reaches out, and this is a reward even more rich than what is given. Working, playing, and living outdoors. Learning to appreciate and respect our world and our place in it. These virtues have been and always will be essential to the scouting experience. Going camping and learning a little bit of self-confidence in what you could do. And, you know, sometimes getting lost and uh, the usual things boys do. All these things uh, helped build up uh, a, a character in myself that allowed me to handle uh, crisis and that's exactly what Apollo 13 was and uh, so early training and scouting yes was a definite uh, assistance uh, to me not just in the Apollo 13 flight but all my space flights. In the hundreds of organized activities scouts do in open air and under the stars we foster fun and fellowship. We give kids the chance to just be kids and we teach that the environment is a resource to be cherished and protected. Scouts were champions of stewardship long before green became a popular term, and we lead the way in preserving the environment for future generations. Scouting teaches that life isn't about keeping score in terms of money, possessions, or titles. It's about knowing that you did your very best, that you made a difference, accomplished something good and meaningful, that you did the right thing. And from this fundamental philosophy, Scouts have gone on to use their sense of adventure, their work ethic, and their resolve to achieve amazing things. 
Over the years, scouts have gone on to become Olympians, surgeons, civil rights leaders, Pulitzer Prize winners, Academy Award winners, astronauts, government leaders, and even presidents. Scouting was the biggest influence on my life, especially in trying to be successful. This is what we learned at, uh, at a very early age, to work our way up the ranks, to be successful at earning, uh, whether it's first class scout or eventually uh, Eagle Scout. Not every scout will go into space or earn a Pulitzer. As scouts grow up to become husbands, fathers, and mentors, though, they shape the character of our country by leading productive and meaningful lives and living out the scout oath every day in every corner of America. My father died last week. While he lived an exemplary life, he never earned his 15 minutes of fame, never made an earth-altering discovery, or headed up a corporate domain. He lived a life of honor, integrity, and loyalty. He came from a broken home, yet he was the only member of his family to ever earn a college degree. And he was married to my mother for 75 years. I once asked him what made the difference, and he said, the Boy Scouts. After his death, we found his Boy Scout handbook, dog-eared, coming loose at the bindings. It was a foundation on which he built his life. As we move into the next century, scouting will continue to be what it's always been, a way to teach kids how to become great leaders, great stewards, great neighbors, and great parents. Scouting is as vital and relevant today as it was when our journey began, and we're going to be here, just as we have for a hundred years to lead the way. Boy Scouts of America, Celebrating the adventure, continuing the journey. To this I pledge my sacred honor.